Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to calibrate your ESEPs for the Creality CR10 Smart. So the first thing you want to do is remove the Bowden tubing from the filament feed. Now go ahead and reattach the clip that keeps the Bowden tubing in place. Clip the filament so that it's flush with the outlet. In the ready panel, at the in option, type in 100 to extrude 100 millimeters of filament. Now let the 100 millimeters of filament extrude and take a pair of calipers and measure the exact uh, length of filament that was extruded. You can repeat this multiple times if necessary to get an average of filament extruded. Now go into settings and then advanced settings and then movement and look at what the ETX setting is. That is your current E-step value. So you want to write that number down. Once you have the length of filament extruded and your current E-step value, you can calculate what your new E-step value should be. And so what you're going to do with that is you take your current E-step value and you multiply a, by a hundred and then divide that resulting number by the length of the filament extruded. And that gives you your new E-step value. So go ahead and program that in. Once you've completed this, it's probably worthwhile doing this multiple times. I find that each time I do this step, I get closer and closer to an accurate E-step value. And I usually do it about three or four times. That's it. Your E-steps are now calibrated. Thanks.